The next crypto narrative was just born. Layer one blockchains converting to layer two solutions for Ethereum. We used to joke about this. The joke was that these layer one blockchains cannot compete with Ethereum. So eventually they would just have to become a layer two. And now we're seeing it happening. Celo, a layer one blockchain, has proposed converting to a layer two solution for Ethereum. And the layer two narrative was already strong. And if this happens successfully, it's only going to get stronger and we'll likely see other layer one blockchains follow. And a quick reminder, layer two solutions help Ethereum become faster. Some that you may know about are Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Immutable X. And people are already using these. Arbitrum has 6 billion in TVL, Optimism 2.3 billion in TVL. So this narrative was already strong because people are actually using layer two solutions for Ethereum. And crypto is all about narratives. Instead of looking all over at this altcoin and that altcoin, it's much easier and more practical to stick to a narrative. I wanna give you an example of the power of narrative. Following Ripple's win, XRP pumped. And the coins following that had the biggest pumps on that day were Stellar, Polygon, Cardano, and Solana. Why? Because these coins were categorized as coins that could be securities by the SEC. So of course, when Ripple won the lawsuit and XRP was considered to not be a security, these coins pumped as well. These were coins that were delisted from Robinhood for this reason previously. So when you see one coin within a narrative or a category pump, typically you'll see other coins in that category pump as well. And if you head over to CoinGecko, you can select the categories tab and you can see a list of all of these narratives or categories within crypto. One for me in particular that I've been paying attention to is gaming and the metaverse. And I just put out this tweet the other day, why I'm stacking crypto gaming tokens, because you can see there is a big increase in gaming for young men. And I think this is only going to grow in the future. And a quick tip for you, if you want to look up a specific category, you can go to the search bar, type it in, for example, L2, and it will show you the top coins in order by market cap. And you're probably wondering why would a project, for example, Celo, transition to a layer two? And the reason, is because that is where all the action is happening. Ethereum is slow, it's expensive, but that is where the people are, that is where the money is. I wanna give you an example. If you have a developer, which is a person, and they spend six months or a year, their time, their sweat and money building a project, you think they're going to release it into a market where it might sell or it might be used, or, Will they release it into a market where the people and the money are? Of course, they're going to choose option number two, and that is Ethereum. Yes, it is not the best platform, at least not now today, but this is where the money is. So even if you have a layer one blockchain that might be faster, might be cheaper, maybe it's more decentralized for the sake of this argument, developers still one to stick on Ethereum. That's where the money is made. So all of these layer one blockchains we have been seeing over the last few years have realized this. They have realized that it's going to be very hard to make it. If they wanna get back to their all time high, they have a better shot being a layer two on Ethereum. And if you hold Ethereum, this is good. I like to view Ethereum as an index fund. There are several projects built on Ethereum. Some of them will moon, some of them will go to zero. But when you hold Ethereum, it is the base layer. Like I said, similar to an index fund. And we just had a bull market where people were paying $1,000, $2,000 for a transaction fee on Ethereum. So we know that even when it gets expensive, people still continue to use it. But now we have these layer two solutions. For example, Arbitrum and Optimism. And when the true bull market returns, people will likely use these layer two solutions. So the layer two solution was already a strong narrative in crypto. But if we see these layer one competitors join Ethereum as an L2, it's only going to get stronger.